morning students today you will learn about tell the time using am and pm and also 24 hour clock with a degree of complexity give the time that is earlier than or later than let's look at the keywords of the lesson am pm 12 hour clock 24 hour clock earlier than later than Anti-meridian, post-meridian. AM and PM are the abbreviations that tells us whether the time occurs in the morning or in the afternoon or evening. AM occurs in the morning. It stands for anti-meridian, which means before midday. You can think of it as before noon. PM, PM occurs in the afternoon and evening. It stands for the post meridian, which means after midday. You can think of it as afternoon. AM PM system. The AM PM system of time is represented by a 12 hour clock. In the clock, the morning goes on up until 12 o'clock noon, and it starts over again with 1 o'clock and goes on until 12 o'clock midnight. 24 hour system. In contrast, a 24 hour clock does not start over after 12 o'clock noon. The next hour, which we normally think of as 1 o'clock pm, is 1300, then 1400, etc. Time goes all the way up until 2400 midnight, which can also be called 0 hundred because it is the start of the next day. Students, can you tell me what is meant by the numbers shown in red on the 24 hour clock? Yes, you are right. That's the 24 hour clock time. 24 hour time. 24 hour time shows the amount of hours and minutes since midnight, as you can see in the picture. For example, 1 pm means that 13 hours have passed since midnight. 3 p.m. means that 15 hours have passed since midnight. Let's look at a few examples. What is 7 p.m. on a 24 hour clock? 7 o'clock p.m. is evening. So this is 7 hours past 12 o'clock. We can simply add 12 hours. So 12 plus 7 equals 19. Answer 1900. Note that AM and PM are not used with a 24 hour clock. Let's look at another example. It is 2206 hours. What time is it on a regular 12 hour clock? It is past noon. So let's subtract 12 hours to see how far past noon it is. 22 minus 12 equals 10. So it is 10.06 p.m. The minutes won't change. It is p.m. because it is night. Let's look at another example. On a 24 hour clock, it is 06.55. What time is it on a 12 hour clock with a.m. or p.m.? Since it is less than 12 o'clock, the time will not change. This is before noon, so it is a.m. So the time is 6.55 a.m. Let's look at another example. What is 12.05 a.m. on a 24 hour clock? 12.05 a.m. is 5 minutes after midnight. We don't need to change the time at all because it has not yet started over with 1 o'clock. Subtract 12 hours to get 0 05. This would only be 5 minutes into the day. That's the time right after midnight, not right after noon. Telling time differences earlier than, later than. When you need to work out time differences, use a timeline and count on from the start to finish. For example, if it's 2.48 and you plan to have a snack in 25 minutes, 
what time would you eat? Move forward 25 minutes from 2.48 to loop around and arrive the next hour at 3.13. Let's look at the steps. Step 1. Locate 48 on the number line as the starting point. Step 2. Adding from 2.48 to 3 is 12 minutes, but snack is in 25 minutes. Add 13 more minutes and you arrive at 3.13. Let's look at another example. Ali's batting practice began at 3.45 and he leaves his house 50 minutes earlier to begin on time. What time does Ali leave home for practice? Students, remember there are 60 minutes in an hour. The number line is up until 60 to represent 60 minutes. Let's look at the steps. Step 1. Locate 345 on the number line as the starting point. Step 2. Subtracting from 345 to 3 is 45 minutes. But he left his home 50 minutes earlier. Subtract 5 more minutes. 345 minus 50 equals 255. So he left his home at 255. Let's look at the summary of the lesson. AM PM occurs in the morning. It stands for antimeridium, which means before midday. You can think of it as before noon. PM occurs in the afternoon and evening. It stands for the post meridium, which means after midday. You can think of it as afternoon. A 24 hour clock does not start over after 12 o'clock noon. The next hour, which we normally think of as 1 o'clock p.m. is 1300, then 1400, etc. When you need to work out time differences, use a timeline and count on from the start to finish. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.